What is up, folks? I guess I can need to put this thing way over here, don't I? Let's uh, let's get our microphone set up. We haven't done this in a while. Man, it has been too long. Uh, I over Christmas, uh, even leading up to Christmas, we're just looking at these, you know, three D printed ornaments that you could do, and I was like, how do you make that? How do you reproduce it? And um, I chewed on it for a while. As you can tell, um, we, we were able to figure it out. And so what I want to do in this video is to show you how to recreate your own 3D printed ornament uh, and you can put your own flair on it. And so you can determine what kind of shapes you want, what kind of profiles and things like that. And it produced this really cool ornate shape. So the first thing I'll do is we're gonna go down to a new part studio and we're gonna create our ornament body. In order to do that, we're going to actually create a shell and then use a tool that we don't use too often called Intersect. So I'm gonna go over here to sketch on this front plane and I'm gonna create an outside circle that is going to be the outside diameter of our ornament body. And for this one, I'm gonna do a four inch ornament. My second step here is going to be using the offset tool to create some thickness that we want to use for our ornament. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bring that in. I think a quarter inch for what I'm gonna do is gonna be a little bit too thick. So let's do, um, let's do, let's do eighth inch. I did something about this video and me creating it. I just used eighth inch a lot. Let's just stick with it. So 0.125. Okay. We're going to then take a, our line tool and draw a line down the middle of that body or that, that sketch, that geometry we have here. On top of that, we're going to trim this up just a little bit. So I'm going to click on the trim tool. I'm going to go ahead and just delete some of the things that I know I won't need and so they don't get in my way. Looks good so far. We're going to hit the green check mark and we're going to hit revolve. We're going to revolve this thin profile around this axis that we set up for that line, and we've created a shell for our ball. Then click the green check mark, and we're looking good so far. One thing I am going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and make my other planes inactive. So I'm going to right click on them and click hide, just so we can see our front plane here. And this is where you get to have your own little flair of what kind of geometry you want for your ornament. So I'm gonna bring this up and I'm gonna do an offset plane that is in front of my ball. Click the green check mark, go to front here, looks good. I'm gonna click on sketch on that plane one we just made. And this is where you get to decide what you want. Do you want your, your ornament to have straight, you know, upward and down vertical lines? Do you want a little bit of curve to it? For the sake of this video, I'm gonna do that curve again. So I'm going to use the spline tool and just draw some curves that I would like to reproduce on my ornament. And so that, that curve shape I think looks pretty cool. Double click, make that spline tool. I'm gonna go ahead and use offset here just so I can repeat that shape. And then that looks good, hit enter, make it an eighth of inch again. And then we need to complete these profiles so we can extrude them. So I'm gonna click on the line tool and just complete these two splines to create a complete profile. Now it should be shaded in gray and so I'm going to click on the green check mark here and I'll be able to see that a whole profile there can be selected. Looks good so far. I'm going to go ahead and then just make my other planes inactive because I don't believe we're going to need those for the rest of this video. If we do, we'll go back to them. We're going to hit extrude now. And we're going to use something we don't use too often. We're going to use intersect. So I'm going to pull this profile all the way through my ornament body. Then I'm going to do intersect and we start to create some interesting kind of organic shapes here. Click the green check mark and we're looking good to go. Another thing you can start to think about is, you know, what kind of profiles, what kind of, you know, other flares do I want to put to this? And I'm going to use a chamfer on these two outside edges to give me a nice solid point. I'll do see if I can do a nice small line there. I didn't like that too much. So let's uh let's wing it. Let's do a chamfer. Let's do a bevel on one side. That looks good. Can I do a bevel on this side? 
No, it doesn't look that too much. Uh, for the sake of this video and not eating up too much time, I'm just going to do a bevel edge like that. And we start to add a little bit of flair to our shapes. You might see where we're going with this because I think this is just too cool. We do kind of push the limits, at least of my computer. And so I'm now going to use circular pattern. And I'm going to entities pattern would be this shape we've created. The axis of that pattern, I'm going to go back to sketch one and then choose this axis right here. And you can start to see we're, we're creating that really cool ornate ornament shape. And I'm going to bump up this instance count to 12 just so I can get more shapes in here and kind of get more looks. And this is where you get to have total fun with it. So if you want straight vertical, if you put more curves into it, I did kind of push the limits of my computer and we, we kind of wanted to crash a couple times, but it didn't. That's it folks. We kind of created the ornament body from there. I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of this and change that color. So let's edit appearance. Let's make it probably a reddish color for Christmas or even like maybe a silver color because uh, let's do gold. I think gold looks pretty good. And there we go. We kind of created that cool ornate shape you get to see for a lot of those 3D printed ornaments. The only thing we need to do now is create our topper. And trying to do a mate here can be difficult. So we're going to go ahead and put a mate connector in here using our origin. And so I'm going to use the origin to put in a mate. Let's try that again. Mate connector. There we go. Select owner. We can select any of those pieces. And we can see that mate is now pointing upwards. That blue is pointing upwards. We are going to use this later, but for now, we're just going to leave it right there. Next thing we're going to do is create part studio. And we're going to create our, our little platform that our ornaments can hang off of. So I'm just going to sketch on the top plane, draw a circle here. Let's give it a diameter of half an inch. Let's go ahead and extrude this on up. I'm going to do an eighth inch on that extrusion, so 0 0.125. And then let's do a sketch on our front plane. So that way we can have a little hoop for our ornament to go through. I did do this pretty quick, uh, but I'm assuming if you've been following with all, with all these videos, you should be good here on your own. Shift E for extrude. We're going to extrude those shapes. Surprise, surprise. Eighth of an inch. But we're going to do a symmetric extrusion on that. Click green check mark. And there we go. Looks good to me, folks. We 3D printed all of our pieces. And uh, just for some flair, I'm going to add some fillets. If it's going to let me. Something about that last edge extrusion it didn't like. Oh, there we go. Hit the green check mark. And there we go, folks. We have our parts that we can use. There's one problem I ran into here was trying to use the Boolean operation to combine these all into one part. Again, my computer's really hard on it. So instead, I just created them in the composite part. So we're going to click on composite part, which is up here with three little boxes. I'm going to highlight all of these. Hit the green check mark. Green check mark. And then we're going to create that assembly. We're going to bring those new pieces in. So I'm going to click on insert. Composite part. We see part two studio here. And then we also see our ornament hanger that we're going to put on there. Last step to make our ornament, we're going to do fastened. Click on our ornament bottom that mate connector we use because it's going to be really hard to select a mate here or it can be at least so by selecting the one we've created here we now have a nice flat surface to work off of I'm going to click on offset we're going to send that in the negative Z direction should be negative 2 we do have a little bit of offset here where the this hanger is not sitting flush so I'm going to bring that in just a little bit so negative 1.875 just so it can sit in there. And when it gets 3D printed, they're all together. And there we go, folks. We have our Christmas ornament created. I know it's late, but 
I finally figured out, and now you can make one of your own. If you manage to get one and 3D print it and make it, please let me know. That would be awesome to see, awesome to hear. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.